Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and arrived, uh, or not arrived, we witnessed a murder, pretty much, and Detective Gumshoe arrived on the scene and it seems like Maya is going to be a suspect yet again, which is pretty unlucky. Within the same year, she was accused of murder twice. Anyways, we're just walking around Karine Village seeing if there's anyone else that we can talk to and uh, seeing how everyone else is feeling about the murders. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Ugh! Uh, I'm... Uh, that is... I... Um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. Channeling. Oh, 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 no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but a murder has taken place. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person has killed another person. Uh, that's like, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like... Like, totally a bummer. Yeah. After all that effort, that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Miney. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomenon, ESPs, and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. It's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. So we're introduced with a new character here, Eeny Miney. You could probably guess the pun from her name immediately. Some people say her name is Eeny Meeny, but it's Eeny Miney, and it'll make sense as to why... It, she's called Eeny Miney and not Eeny Meeny, uh, a bit later in the case. Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm not all that smart, so I don't, like, get it. Huh. Why does it feel like she's just putting on an act? Um, this face. Like, I think I've seen it somewhere before. What? Y you're joking, right? <laughs> like, of course I am, silly. Oh, thank goodness. She's an interesting one, all right. Eeny miny. So what brings you here today? Um, like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about his about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm. Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Because, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. And why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put some in my food they served for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I, like, slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, like, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that. I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? It's not exactly what Dr. Gray said. Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah. She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Huh. Well, anyway, if she's not gonna talk, not much we can do, so let's just head back. There's no one here. As usual. Ah! Hey, how are you? 
You're Pearl, right? Hmm. Silence as ever. What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Well, first of all, little girl, have you seen my attorney's badge? Um... What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? Huh, so she doesn't want to talk to us because, like Maya mentioned earlier, she had it drilled into her head not to talk to uh, weird people from outside the village. Oh dear madam, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Him. All right, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm gonna give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not gonna be done till real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. June 20th, 8.02 a.m., Fay Manor Meditation Room. <sighs> Ugh, morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. June 20th, 10.34 a.m., Detention Center Visitor's Room. N Nick! Nick! I... Maya, what am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here, in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I... I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. We get some new... Detention Center music. And I really like this theme. Like, the the one from the first game is super duper sad, but this one's more like a relaxing sad. Smile. Your uncandid camera. This guard monitors the visitor's room. I wonder if he's bored. Not that I can tell since he never looks over this way. Sorry, Nick, but there's nothing really special about it. I... I can't face myself. I should have known better. So, you're the master or something of that Karine chan school of channeling? Actually, my mother's is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. They're mostly doing text like this to recap stuff from the previous game. Uh, which, you can technically jump into the series at any point, but I always suggest to start from the first game and play them in order. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, 
locked the door and sat down from across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes and I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself. My consciousness. Then... You don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable, really suffocating. It went something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did! I killed that person with these... two hands! That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it! Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright. I'm going now. Wait. This jewel... This is called a Magatama. It's a magical charm, and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Maya's Magatama. Slightly translucent. It's small, but it has a deep, profound aura about it. Unfortunately, we're going to be leaving this detention center on a sad note. We might as well go back to the Wright and Co. Law Offices for now. It's our first chance to go back here uh, after the start of the case. June 20, Wright and Co. Law Offices. Whew, feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray bought the other day? Ah, here it is. Right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping one added to the court record. The one at the end of the name suggests there's going to be a second one later. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. While we're here, might as well examine some stuff. First of all, Charlie! Charlie, a quite decorative plant. It's a memento of my boss, Mia, who passed away. The rest of the room may be in shambles, but I always manage to care for this little fella. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it, it had been a normal business-class hotel. And then Mia's death happened, and suddenly... You know, that bellboy started doing some stuff. A poster of the TV action hero, The Steel Samurai. Maya stuck it up here right before she left. I wouldn't say that the Steel Samurai and an attorney's office are a good match, but... Maya threatened to curse me with some magic spell, so I guess it can stay. <laughs> it's my desk. I keep it neat for those rare occasions when I'm actually- when I actually have a client in the office. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. Actually, I've neglected them for so long, a layer of dust has started to form. One of these days, I should try to build up the courage to read one. Maybe. 
So yeah, now that we've returned home, it's tied it's time to immediately take a train ride back. June 20, Karine Village. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? It's kind of interesting how they decided to play Gumshoe's theme there for a second. Uh, June 20th, Fay Manor Meditation Room. The meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. But it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Oh yeah, they're just playing this throughout the whole thing. Not that I'm complaining, it's an awesome theme. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya, and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue, and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Man, you just love those jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. Ugh, she is one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search this site, but I should ask her some questions too while I have the chance. I will be leaving shortly to meet with Mystic Maya. I simply do not have the time to look at such trivial matters. It shows the same face as the one I see in the mirror every day. And? Anything else? No, that is all. Why in the world did I bother to show this to her? What happened? I'd like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man murdered me. So I killed him. M Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. What happened here in this room after I left? Well... First, I struck Mystic Maya on the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the Spirit Severing Technique. Spirit Severing Technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of a testimony is even admissible in a court of law. Well, certainly not after the DL6 incident. That kind of severed any and all goodwill that courthouses and spirit mediums had. By the way, what is this room exactly? The Channeling Chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. The Maya... I mean, Mystic Maya. That was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that would be calling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that is? It is that folding screen there. It is the Kurine secret writings. Along with the Kurine sacred urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one... Oh, the inhumanity. 
Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how's Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But, Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy, and is the pride of the Branch family. Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, or in any case, the world is so different from yours, perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? Just not gonna answer that? Okay. Uh, speaking of which, previously you were talking about the folding screen, hopefully not sustaining any damage. It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. This is... It's a hole! Uh-oh. Don't tell Morgan. Could this have been... Could this have been made by a bullet? Folding screen added to the court record. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright. Please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya. I will tell her. <sighs> She's... Certainly... A handful. Anyways... Now that we've had to talk with Maya, and we've also had to talk with Morgan, and things are starting to ramp up, let's go ahead and, ahead and end off the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!